How's it going my battle squad? It's Michael here and welcome to our new project and it is Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Egg Lock. So, Blaze Black 2 is a Pokemon hack of Black 2 made by Drayano. And yes, this is going to be a more difficult game. It's going to have the Pokemon from Gens 1 through 5 in this game. Uh, Pokemon are going to have new typings. And overall, it's just going to be a little more difficult. And I'm definitely excited to do this for an Egg Lock. I know it's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. Especially with the eggs you guys brought in. I really do appreciate all of the eggs. And hopefully we can get through, I mean, like, yeah, we can get through a lot of them. Hopefully, I mean, not all of them, because, I mean, that, that'd be a horrendous Nuzlocke, just because, you know, how many deaths that would be. But still, I hope I can get to a, a, a bunch of eggs, and I really do appreciate, I think I have four boxes, full co four complete ones, starting a fifth one. If for some reason I needed more, I would make sure I would, I would just let you guys know and you can submit more. But anyways, thank you so much, and now let's get going. Howdy! Welcome to Pokemon Blaze Black 2 or Pokemon Volt White 2. You might be seeing Professor Juniper, but this is Dre, Dreano60 speaking. Let's see. Oh, a Minchino. Yeah, it was a Sinchino. I don't remember. We probably know the basics of this hack. We're looking at new and wild encounters, more challenging game, and extra boost to, me to many weaker Pokemon among other features. That's yeah, also another thing that he boosted some uh, base stats around to make Pokemon a little bit tougher. Also... I am playing the complete version of this game, I'm not playing the vanilla. So yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to mention. So make sure I have all the challenges in the game, make it a little more difficult. So, anyways, documentation provided with the game, which is definitely true. So yeah, so let's just make it an entertaining experience. So what gender am I going to be playing? I'm going to be playing as a boy named Michael, because that's who I am. Hey, how's it going? So, what is my name? I know what my name is, I just said it, but I have to type it out. Well, not really type it out, kind of use my DS stylus. I am using a DS capture board in order to play this game. Yeah, I'm playing a ROM hack on a DS in order to record this. Yes, mainly because I had some issues with Desmume on my computer while recording three different things at once. So mainly I decided last resort to go to my DS because that's the best I could do, guys. I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's get going here. So, one reason why I wanted to use an emulator was because I can, you know, boost, you know, speed up the game whenever there's something long and pointless going on. Yeah, I can't do that with the DS. But, through the R4, I was able to add a few cheat codes to at least make it a little bit quicker. So, I mean, as far as rare candies go, you need them for egg locks, just, you know, to get the Pokemon to the levels they need to be. Whenever you, you catch a Pokemon, let's say you catch level 20 Pokemon on the route, and you hatch an egg, you just rare candy it up to level 20, so it's like, it's on a route and you caught that Pokemon. But... Yeah, anyways, now that's not the thing I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the fact that I that the documentation with this game includes a couple of codes such as uh, double the, the movement. So when you're walking or running, it's double the speed. And that's probably the main thing that I'm doing to speed it up a little bit to make up for the fact that I can't speed up anything else. And also, I'll be doing a... Uh, I'll be using a cheat code where basically, you know how there's that... Uh, well, the music changes when your Pokemon is low in HP in 5th gen. And it makes a ringing sound. Anyways, I turned that off with a cheat thanks to the uh, documents with the game. So, yeah, if you're going to download this game, make sure you get, get it with the documents because it has all the codes you need in order to make this a fun experience, really. What? She's already here. Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you decide on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Okay. Come on, just let me walk already. Michael, I'm home. Now would be a good time to save your game, honey. All right, here we go. Watch the speed. So that's double the walking speed. And in Blaze Black 2, you automatically get the running shoes right at the beginning. So anyways, look at that speed. Woo! Yeah, that's nuts. Okay, before we go any further, let's go and add the tech speed and change it to fast. And let's get going. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon professor. Actually, she's an old friend of mine. She called me today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, but Michael, do you want to have a Pokemon? Yes. Okay, check. Step one. Okay, step two. Well, do you want to know what a Pokedex is? Not at all, but I'll say yes. Oh, man. You want a Pokedex, right? Don't know what it is, but I'll just say yes so I can get my Pokemon. All right, your course of action's set. The girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told simply look for a big green hat. That's right, you're going to go look for Bianca. Then you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon will be your partner. Oh, the cross transceiver's in your bag, right? You want know to open your bag? <sighs> oh my goodness. Oh, you can never replace the beginning of games. I mean, seriously, like, all the... Uh, it's just... Oh, it's so... Just a lot of tutorials. 
uh, it's good for new players, but at the same time, there's so many returning players. It's just, ah, uh, it just goes on and on and on. A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon, really? Take re really good care of your Pokemon, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get your Pokemon. That's what I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust beside my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you got some good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, Michael. All right, let's find that person named Bianca. Okay, so now we get to see them run in double the speed. Here we go. Bam! Look at that speed. You can't beat that. Okay, so let's go up here and talk to this guy. Welcome, welcome. I'm the key bearer. The keys I shall grant to you, and then off I shall go. The last key it may not appear odd, but fear not, for it works. So yes, in Blaze Black 2, they unlock all the modes for you right at the beginning, so you can have an easy mode if you really want to make sure you have an easier experience, and a challenging mode where if you want more of a challenge, I'm going to just be sticking on normal or whatever it is, and yeah, we're going to stick at that because I, I don't want to die as easily, you know, because, you know, game over and all. But yes, you also get the key to Black City, like I'm actually going to go there because we're going to be only doing the main game, so... You know, the eight badges, the Elite Four champion, that's it. Because, yeah, there's really no point in doing the after game when, you know, you're doing a Nuzlocke. So, yeah. I mean, I guess if there, was, if there was some meaning to the after game, like Hard Gold and Soul Silver, or at least any of the Gen 2 games, really, like where they had, the, like, a second region with more gyms and, you know, having red at the end, that's pretty, that's pretty important. But as far as, like, the other games go, I don't think any other after games were that extensive like that just that big so i don't know i don't think it was it's gonna be worth doing so anyways let's move up here huh oh i get it the outlook is the spurs most famous spot i bet bianca's up here looking at the scenery come on get your pokemon already sheesh we will it's so pretty hey there don't you agree uh she's one of those people oh my name's bianca i'm the assistant of the pokemon professor professor juniper by the way i'm looking for someone do you know a person named michael no Oh wait, you're Michael. You, why, you look exactly what I heard. Uh, is that a good thing? Mm -hmm. Well, nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help me complete the Pokedex? Pfft, no. No, no. No way! I must have misheard you, right? Uh, no. Okay, we please complete the Pokedex. I guess that's all we're going to be able to do here. Oh wow, thanks. Your support will help the rest of Juniper's research more move forward. Anyways, filling with the Pokedex is totally fun. No, I don't know, Zlock. It's not. Okay, let's talk to you and let's get our Pokemon. So, our starter Pokemon really doesn't matter what we get here, because basically we're going to be swapping it out for an egg anyways. I guess one thing we didn't really talk about so far was how a Nuzlocke works. I'm assuming everyone knows how a Nuzlocke works. Basically, you catch the first Pokemon every route that you encounter, and if you fail to catch it, you can't catch any more Pokemon for that route. And if your Pokemon dies in battle, it's considered dead, and you can't revive it. Simple as that. And then one thing we're adding is that we're catching Pokemon on these routes and swapping them out for eggs. So, basically that's how it's going to work. Give a nickname? No, because we're not even going to be using that Tepig. So, give me my Pokedex! Awesome. It's a high piece of tech. Yes. Uh, so, stop. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. And here we go. Hugh, hey! How long are you planning on keeping me waiting anyway? Hey! What's that? A Pokedex! Oh, that's not... <laughs> I know he freaks out about a Pokedex at some point. Come on. Oh, there it is. Right there. He's like, oh, what's your old in there? It's a Pokedex! Please give me a Pokedex too! I want to get stronger! Please, if I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon! That may be tougher, right? I guess that's how you become a champion in this game. Uh, more like in any Pokemon game, you have to have a Pokedex in order to be the champion. That's usually how it works. I'm Hugh! I'm going to travel to the Unova region with my partner in order to, you know, search for something very important. Okay. Well, okay, I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. I just have to have another Pokedex on me. Yeah, the more the merrier. Fun, now let's get out of here. Oh, wait, we're going to have to battle our rival. Huh, let's see how good of a trainer you are. I just, I'll just i use my Oshawa to raise from an egg. Oh, look at you hatching eggs. Oh, I guess that is kind of fitting with the egg lock. Except that when I kill it, he's still going to have it later. Oh, well, close enough. Nice try. I appreciate the effort, game. Okay, so Oshawa at level 5. Okay, so... We're just going to tackle its face, and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, well, that did not do that much. And it didn't do very much to us. So it's going to be back and forth. Let's not miss, and let's not have any crits in, in this battle at all. Like, both sides. Let's just keep it like how it is now. 
It will be all set. Oh my goodness. Okay. One tail up's not going to knock us out in one hit from this range. Oh, we outspeed, I guess. All right. See you later. And that was relatively easy. Tapig, level six. Let's see. So, and that's it for Hugh. I can't achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forget this frustration. Yeah, it's a very frustrating time there, buddy. I lost. It's different from the battling with a lot of Pokemon, but whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a Pokemon trainer I can count on. Cool, I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Way to lift your spirits, buddy. The Pokemon on both sides did their best, but this little one's still weak, so let's battle with it and make it stronger. Mm, no thanks. I'd rather get another Pokemon. Okay, so let's head to the Pokemon Center, and she'll give us a whole tour. Yeah, I remember that. That, that was a drag. Okay, let's go inside. Like, these tutorial things, I just wish that Drown just cut these out. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you necessarily could, but I don't know. It, I don't, it's possible. But whatever, yeah. Heal my Pokemon, please. My one singular Pokemon. But we get to hatch our first egg today. I'm pretty psyched. All right, so, okay, I don't want any more of your help. This is a Pokemon. Here we can buy and sell many different items. And we can catch Pokeballs. Catch Pokeballs. <gasps> We're gonna buy Pokeballs! Or she gives us some. I don't know how many she gives us. Was it like 10? Let's check. 30? <laughs> 30? I'm, 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 I can guarantee you you don't get 30 in black. Just the regular black two and white two. Okay, so basically... Yeah, we're going to be getting our eggs. I have to load them into the game in order to, uh, you know, put them in the PC. So I'll be right back once I load them up into the PC. Okay, guys, we are back. So now it's time to hatch a Pokemon egg. So how it's going to work is that we're going to be selecting eggs from our PC, obviously. Um, how it's going to work is we're going to take one egg out of each box at a time. So let's say, so this we have our starter Pokemon here. We're going to be picking an egg out of box one. Then our next encounter will be box two, and then box three, then box four, then box five. And then we go back to box one. So basically, everyone gets an equal shot with their eggs in order to get theirs hatched. So, anyways, now we're going to have to use a number generator. And let's just pull that up here. So it should be one through six. So we're going to do row four. So one, two, three, four. And then we got a three. One, two, three. We got Captain. Okay. Captain's kind of interesting. So normally I'd put the Tepig in that slot right there where the egg was taken. But because of the fact that we don't have like a Pokemon yet, uh, we have to wait until it hatches before we can actually put it in the PC. This will only happen like once. After this, it won't even matter. So, all right, here we go. And one step. Good. They did it right. So zero happiness. It hatches in one step. So that is good. All right, let's see. What is our first egg? <gasps> okay, that is an awesome starter Pokemon. Just saying. Hoo-hoo, yes! Okay, so its name was Captain. So we're going to keep that. So, Captain. And boom! So it is very vulnerable to rock types. But I think we'll be okay, mainly because uh, it's fast, and I'm sure it can. It probably carries a good... I mean, it does carry a good move pool. So what was it carrying again? A Metal Coat. <gasps> we could get a Scizor. Wait, do I have to trade in this game? I don't know how trade evolutions work in this game. I mean, I could necessarily trade it, because it's, you know, on my R4, so I actually have the ability to trade one of my black and white games in order for it to evolve. But, I mean, there might be a level where it evolves in this game now. I don't know, but we got a metal coat with it just in case. Thank you so much to some to whoever donated this egg. It does mean a lot. So now let's make sure everything's legit. So, okay, it's Adamant Nature, Bug Buzz, Night Slash, Vacuum Wave, Steel Wing. So we're going to pull up the Pokedex here. And we'll see if these egg moves are legit. And it has Technician, which that is nice. Because we get things like Bullet Punch and stuff. We're going to deal some mad damage. Okay. So, egg moves. Okay, first it learns Vacuum Wave through, like, when you hatch it, so that's fine. Egg moves, we got Bug Buzz, uh, Night Slash, and Steel Wing. So this is completely legit. Alright, thank you so much. So now let's put Tepig in the PC and take it so it can uh, take Scyther's spot. 
And then as far as levels go, base gonna be using rare candies to level it up to level five because that's when we obtain Tepig. I w I'm not gonna do level six because obviously we didn't get it at level six. We got it at level five, but you know the rival battle they forced us. So, anyways, yeah, we'll do some rare candies here. So let's just press that. There we go. The code worked. I had to press select for 900 candies. So let's put this at level five, and then we can start the egg lock. There we go. I'm trying to learn focus energy. Hmm. Eh, nah. Okay. Cool. <gasps> Shoot! I hit B. Okay. I hit B to like cancel it out, and then it showed the the. It said, oh, if it's not going to learn focus energy. Then I hit A, and then it levels it up again. That's one thing I don't like about Gen 5, is that you can accidentally do that, and I did not try to do that. And I completely apologize. <sighs> okay, this is a great start to the Nuzlocke. So, now nah, it's level 6. It was supposed to be level 5. But, I mean, technically, Tepic was level 6. <sighs> ah, whatever. Okay, we'll, we'll make sure we don't do that ever again. So we got a pair of running shoes, even though we already got some running shoes. Yay! Okay, so now we can run with Tepig wherever we want, and that's a lie. And we got a town map. Awesome. Why are there two town maps? I'm going to give one to my brother! Oh, uh, great. We're going to have to see his ugly face again. That's a good idea. Even if it's a single road to the ocean, having a town map is always nice. I mean, if you use a town map, you'll know all about what the Innova region's like. Aw, oh, you guys, you're just making me happy. Come on, let's head to Route 19. I'll teach you how to catch a Pokemon. Hooray. I'm excited. Okay. Bon voyage. Thank you. And let's get going. Alright. Let's see. So we'll go up here. Hey, Michael. We can't go without... Oh. You're with Scyther. At least they made it so it's the Pokemon that's in front of your party. So that's kind of nifty. So we got a bicycle. And I already know for sure that the double movement doesn't work with the bike. So... And I think the running is the same speed as a bike now. So... Don't need that bike anymore. All right, let's see. Now you're gonna have to show us how to catch a Pokemon. Come on, Dreano, come in clutch and not show us this battle. Nope, of course, okay. So let's see, Purloin, okay, that's gonna be fun. So it's gonna be the traditional. Ah, uh, weaken it, come on, get a crit and kill it. Ah, that's not gonna work. Okay, that'd been so funny, you got a crit. And then she's like, that's how you catch a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. Okay. So, Pokeball. Yeah, you're showing me how to go through the menus to throw a Pokeball. Okay, fun. Please fail to catch. That'd be so funny. Yeah, okay. You caught the Purloin. Hooray. Happy day. Okay. That's how you catch a Pokemon! Okay, now you weaken it, and put status on it, and there it is. Easier to catch! Yeah, okay, move on to the town. Hmm, no thanks. No, I'm kidding. We're probably gonna do that, and then probably end off the episode. But we have to get our wild encounter for this area, so let's do it! Alright, here we go. It is a Bidoof. Okay. Level two. Level two? Oh, come on. That's That blows. Okay. I can't weaken this. Scyther is too much... Wait. No, I can't, because Vacuum Wave's super effective. Night Slash and Steel Wing are physical moves. Bug Buzz is Stab. Perfect matchup! We're just going to have to chuck Pokeballs until we catch it. That's fun. One. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is not fun. Oh, why can't it be level 2? I know there's like up to like level 5 on this route. That's, well, at least in this game it is. Not in Black 2 and White 2. Come on, catch, catch, catch! Come on, Bidoof! Why do you need to do this to me? Stop torturing me. I know you're level 2 and I talk trash about you, but just get in the ball! You're getting replaced anyways. Just, come on, please. One. Two. Three. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Alright, so we get a level 2 Pokemon. Hooray. Alright, so I, I skipped the Pokedex entry, which is nice. Just mashed A, so that's wonderful. Now we're going to be getting our second egg, which is going to be fun. Definitely fun. So let's see. We're going to do... 
Yeah, we'll go to box two. And now it's time for the number generator. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So. Okay, so row one and okay, slot number two. So so it's this one, decibel. Okay, interesting. And it has the experience share. Alright, proof. So let's put B Doof in that spot. And now let's hatch this guy. Oh! Here we go. What is decibel? Hmm. Okay! We got a Zubat! That's kind of interesting. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have two flying types, but really, once Scyther evolves, it'll be a steel, uh, bug steel type. I don't know, this can be pretty good, it has a lot of speed. And Crobat's pretty good, so let's see, Decibel was its name, right? Decibel... Was it like that? Yeah, I think so. It wasn't L-E, it was E-L. Okay! There we go, Decibel the Zubat! So now... We need to use only one rare candy, and I don't know why I have another set of 900 rare candies, but that's okay. Level two, I'll make sure I keep hitting B. C, already getting better. Okay, so, let's take a look at its moves, make sure it's legal. So, Modest Nature, kind of interesting. Ooh, it has Giga Drain, Nasty Plot, Leech Life, Defog. Okay, let's make sure all these moves are legit. So, let's see, Zubat. It is, let's go Gen 5. Let's see, so it does have Leech Life, Defog, Giga Drain, and Nasty Plot. And it has Infiltrator as its ability. Is that an ability it can get? Yeah, it's a hidden ability. Okay, cool. So, it passes through the foe's barriers and strikes. Okay, kinda cool. So it ignores the effects of Reflect, Light Screen, and Safeguard. In other words, if a Pokemon uses Safeguard, Toxic would badly poison them. Thank you so much to the Pokemon Database for that excla explanation. So that's good. So there we go. We got our two Pokemon. And yeah, uh, I guess I'll be training up Decibel a little bit. Now we're going to heal up, and then yeah, I guess we're going to be heading towards the next town. So this is a pretty good episode. So as far as training goes, I would like your input on something. So, I have the option of either showing off my, like, grinding, so it's like grinding montage and stuff. I'll speed up all the grinding and put music in the background just to, you know, prove that all my Pokemon don't die while training. Or, I mean, I could just do it off screen if you just don't even want to see it. If you're just going to skip it anyways. I don't know. It's just, you know, I'm using my DS capture board in Fraps, and that's using lossless data. Like, you know, lossless MP4, not MP4, AVI files. So they get quite big, so if I'm doing a grinding montage of like an hour, it's going to be like 50 gigs of digital memory just for the montage. So I would like to avoid doing grinding montages, but if you guys would like to see those, just to make sure, or if you can trust me, honestly, I would be perfectly okay with that. But yes, uh, just let me know in the comment section. As far as this video goes, I'll probably just do some grinding off screen, unless I can get all my Pokemon up to like level 7 before getting into the next town or something. Okay, so it looks like we got a Purloin here. Level 5, see? Level 5! Ah, oh, why'd I get level 2? Okay, so... We'll just go out to Captain by Captain. And we'll see where we go from there. So let's see. Thief. You have Thief. No. Okay. That is dumb. Okay, we're gonna go for Bug Buzz. Or, no, we're gonna go, no, why'd I go for Night Slash? I meant Bug Buzz, no! I clicked, like, right in the middle. Oh, goodness. Okay, that was annoying. I clicked, like, right in the middle between that, and it went for Night Slash. That's what I get for not being precise. Okay, there we go. It is dead. Congrats. Took a little bit of work, but we did it. Decibel's already level four. Try to learn Supersonic. Ah, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know, I kind of like Defog on this thing. You know, I'm going to pass up on Supersonic. It's very inaccurate. I'm good. I think it's perfect. 
the way it is right now. I mean, Zubat, I was worried about rock types, but it has Giga Drain. It's a modest nature one, which I think is kind of interesting. So I'd have to go with like a moveset like Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Nasty Plot. I don't know, I would have to really look into Crobat's learn, like, learn set and see what I can uh, come up with. That's definitely interesting. I really do appreciate that egg. So thank you to whoever submitted that. Oh, we had a level six. I'm telling you, why can't we just get a level six to begin with? Not level two. Okay, well, enough complaining. Let's just keep going. Captain, let's go. Poison, it has poison tail. Please don't poison me. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll go for, let's go for the night slash. I probably should KO it. Oh, okay. That did not do as much as I was expecting. Like, okay, well, it's going down anyways. So there's that. And Decibel did not get a level up, which is a little unfortunate. But yeah, let's go up here and get this item. Or run into a wild Pokemon, that works too. Pat Rat. Well, come on, level two. Level three. Yes, we can do it! Okay, so let's go. It's time to get a little nasty with that plotting. Nasty plotting, baby! Oh man, I'm liking that. So tackle. Wow, that did more than I expected. Okay, so Giga Drain. There we go. Almost healed up. You're gonna go for Leer. I'm gonna be healed up at the end of this fight. Heck yes. Decibel being clutch. All right, let's see. There we go, fully healed. All right. So Decibel gets a level up here. And there's that. So, so we'll uh, get this item. Okay, potion. I think we're good there. And let's talk to you. Hey, you know about ledge jumping? No, not at all. Then so, then watch me carefully. From the top of the ledge, boing. Ha, joke on you, I actually knew how to do it. So now you have to go in the grass again to get back up here. Ha, I just messed with that guy's mind. You that trainer. My name is Alda. I'm a trainer with keen interest in the world. One of my goals is to tell people about how wonderful it is and walk toward a future together Pokemon. And you are? Hmm. So you're Michael from Aspersion City. You're Zubat's a fine looking Pokemon, but you're not exactly a seasoned trainer yet. Indeed, I'll train you a little. Follow me. Okay, yes. Uh, if I can jump off ledges like that and manage to survive, then uh, yeah, I would love to train with this guy. I mean, seriously. Oh my gosh. So let's see. So now we're here in the town. So... Oh, that's right, Michael. You're doing well. Your Pokemon are doing best. their best for you. The trainer, you must always be kind to them. My house is a little further. Stop by the Pokemon Center first if you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to end off the episode here. We're at 31 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for some more Blaze Black 2. I'll be doing training to get my Pokemon up to level 7. And yeah, see you guys later.